Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, you know, not too crazy here. Um, still taking care of this little dude, though. So, I uh, figured keep showing him to you guys because I think you guys enjoy watching him. Um, he has stolen hearts. Mine especially. Um, so... Hey, don't eat my book. Don't eat my book. He's getting to the point where he likes to chew on stuff. Um, that's the struggle of giving him a bottle sometimes, is he just wants to chew on it instead of actually drink it. Uh, so he'll walk around my house and try and chew on stuff. So I really have to watch him, but he's not too bad. Um, so... Let's dive in. Today's title is Sin Leads to Stupid. I love this title, so I'm curious what it's going to have. Our verse, two verses, Deuteronomy 30, verses 19 and 20. It says, This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death. Just echo. Sorry, that didn't sound right to me. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him. I don't know that I've ever heard that verse. This is chocolate cake guaranteed to make you throw up or chicken soup that will cure your cold in five minutes. Working with a tutor for an A-plus on a test or a blind exam without any studying? What would you choose? The answers seem obvious. Wouldn't it be stupid to choose the one that would make you sick or get a failing grade? Of course. Well, sometimes the mind doesn't cooperate with the truth or what makes sense. If you could go back in time and ask any Israelite, they would agree. God delivered the Israelites from Egypt then he gave them clear instructions. Follow me and be safe. Turn away and others will destroy you. But every so often, the Israelites lost their minds. That sounds like the world today. They turned away from God. Then they suffered the consequences like losing their homes, facing famine, and being kidnapped back into slavery. Seems stupid, doesn't it? That's what happens with sin. Stepping into sin and staying there makes you stupid. You know, people don't like that word, especially little kids. Uh, so it's comical to me that this book is using it so much right now. Um, God always gives a clear choice from the beginning. Don't let stupid get the best of you and make you turn away. Choose the option that puts you on God's side and in safety. You know, it's just like um, Lot and his wife. Whenever God told him to leave and to not turn back. Um Lot's wife turned back and she turned into just a pile of salt basically um so it's like the same thing God told the Israelites to follow him and they would be safe but they chose to turn away and they chose to try and go their own way it's the same way with today's world you know God tells us that we can follow him and that he will lead us and guide us or that we can walk our own path we have free will. We can choose to go our own way if we think that we know better than God. But let me tell you, we don't know better than God. Let me just give you that uh, little tidbit right there. We don't know better than God. Prayer says, Lord, serving anything but you doesn't make sense. But people do it all the time. I don't want sin to make me stupid. Show me the clear way of following you so that my life is always in your hands. Why are you chewing on my shorts? Following anyone, anything, serving anyone, anything but God does not make sense. But people do it all the time. That's how our world lives. Is they try and serve self instead of serving God. And that's not going to work out. Serving Christ is the only way 
to have a fulfilling life. That's all there is to it. You might have little joys here and there, but the only way to have true everlasting joy is to follow Christ. To follow where he leads and trust his guidance. Everyone have a great Monday and a great start to your week. And of course, go be the example.